Hey everybody, quick show me video. I've got the stereo with the UFO controller and I picked this up, it's pretty cool, yesterday. It's a CD player. It's really neat, it's from 1991, right? Okay, open it and I've got Street, let's see, what is it? Can I see it? Street Fighter, the music collection. Always neat, right? Oh, open button gets stuck. Like a PS1 gets stuck. And look at that big red display. That is so cool. I don't have the remote for it, but it goes to something else because if you look, you got a big thing right here. I don't know. I've never seen anything like this, but it just looks so neat. And it got hit play. <clears throat> This is straight from the video game. Check it out. That is neat. Six dollars. It's broken. Now, it's working. How is it broken? I'm going through the headphone jack into the auxiliary. If you look, these probably can't see very well. It's kind of dark. The RCA jacks on the back have broken off of the board on the inside if there's a board I don't know but they don't work right As a matter of fact let me just yeah there you go they just come right off this is just a uh, the little wire that came with it but the headphone jack works great and I think that's why they got rid of it look at that big red display that's just neat that was high tech in 1991 <laughs> this is made by GE and it's fits right in oh I hit Oh, the track was over. Okay. The tracks on this thing, they just, I guess they loop around on the game. Because, well, whatever. You see the disc spinning in there? It's pretty cool. And it just fits right into the retro, the whole retro thing. Because you got everything sitting on top of a laser disc player next to a VCR with a Genesis on top and a Super Nintendo over there. The TV and those speakers are the newest thing in here. These speakers sound really good, but you gotta crank it because this one has a problem. It's not the speaker, it's the, the channel, right? And this thing, the tracks are short on the CD. See, listen, there's another one. Okay, and that's that. Just a little show me, this is just so neat. It, if it was blue, I would say this is the Tron CD player, but it's not blue, it's red. So it could still be the Tron CD player, except the evil Tron. Well, I, I can't remember what the, the, the Dynamo, I think it was called. I'm not sure. Can't remember. Okay, well, it's pretty good. I like it. Works. Works for what I need it for. I needed a CD player. See, the CD changer on this thing is broken. I don't even know. I don't even care. I got it for this so I could listen to something, video games, it's got its own volume control, which is cool. Of course, I'm going to leave it cranked up and just use this one, or this one. And it, the track ended, that's just the weirdest thing. I'd like to get the remote for this, but I think I'm okay. I can push buttons. I like to push buttons. Red and old and vintage. I like it. It's got a sticky open button just like a PS1. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot, guys. Sorry if this was a boring one, but I wanted to. This is take two. Earlier, my batteries died, so I had to charge them back up. All right, I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.